Well, uh, we have been saying for uh, a, a few months now, Roberta, that we are very concerned uh, about the transfer of weapons and material from the Russian side of the border uh, into Ukraine and into the hands of Russian-backed separatists uh, in Ukraine. Uh, that has fueled the violence and conflict that we've seen in Ukraine. Uh, unfortunately, it has also had tragic consequences for citizens from countries around the world uh, after the downing of the Malaysian Airlines jetliner. And uh, the President continues to work closely with our allies to make progress on this. The international community is united, and the Russians are isolated. And uh, you know, we have seen uh, a pretty strong track record. There's ample evidence to indicate that there have been um, a, there has been, unfortunately, a steady flow of heavy weapons uh, across the border from Russia into Ukraine and into the hands of uh, these Russian-backed separatists. Uh, we continue to be very concerned about that. Uh, we do know that it was a, um, uh, an SA-11 system that was in the hands of separatists that brought down the Malaysian airliner uh, last week. Uh, we know that Russia had been involved in training separatists to use that system, uh, and that is why uh, you know, wh why the Russians are responsible for that and why the international community is now focused on uh, isolating the Putin regime uh, and getting them to change their behavior in Ukraine. They were apparently one of uh, What we also know is that the Malaysia Airlines jet was brought down uh, by a missile that was fired from the ground. Uh, it was fired from the ground in an area that was controlled by separatists and in an area where the Ukrainians themselves uh, were not actually operating anti-aircraft weapons at that time. So uh, that is why we have concluded that uh, Vladimir Putin and the Russians are culpable uh, for this tragedy. And I guess the other thing I would point out, I'll look for my notes here, that I, I noticed a recent comment from Senator Chambliss, who is the vice chair of the Senate Intel Committee. Uh, he's a uh, Republican and somebody that doesn't often agree with the with the White House, but he did say uh, whether it was, this is a quote here, whether it was the Russians themselves that pulled the trigger or Russian separatists trained by Russians, it's all the same and it all goes back ultimately to Vladimir Putin. Uh, so that is an indication that based on somebody who has reviewed uh, the classified intelligence assessments uh, that President Putin is responsible uh, and that is why we are coordinating with the international community uh, on a response that targets Russia